hell? Freaking oh, dude. Hello. Today is Wednesday, October 10th. <laughs> 9th, I lied, 9th, October 9th, oof, sorry. Um, it's gonna be a freaking hamstring and tricep day. Kind of excited, low-key, not, not, I'm not gonna lie, kind of excited. Um, today's been going well, nothing bad to say about it. Took a freaking chemistry quiz that felt like it went pretty well. Yesterday, didn't record a video. I was just, I was out of it, dude. I, like, I didn't even, after my uh, lab, micro lab, which is also had a lab practical, which is just an exam. I think I got like, at minimum, 45 out of 50. At best, I got a 49 out of 50. So, pretty happy with that, all right? One point off, but whatever. Anyways, that went really well yesterday. Didn't do any cardio, I was kind of lazy, I'm not gonna lie. I came back, like I'm saying, and I didn't do any work after I came back from uh, my dinner. Like I came back and just sat on my bed and just, just basically went to bed to sleep. I'm still fucking tired, right? Like, how does that work? Anyways, today, woke up, no breakfast. I got, I, I woke up a little late, so I had to go straight into some chemistry studying for my quiz, and I had a chemistry. That went pretty well, I feel like. Then came back, had a therapy session, said some wrong shit in there, so. I'm all, they want to put me on like a, a, a hospital hold. And I'm like, I don't have time for that. I'm all, I promise I'm not gonna kill myself. <laughs> Maybe didn't, didn't put in the right words probably. This is probably the issue, the bigger issue there. Didn't really convey the fact that I, I, I'm not gonna kill myself tonight, you know? Uh, but yeah, still in down, just, I mean, you, you guys know the vibe, man. My sister, my freaking, my grandfather, a couple of other people have passed away in my life. And obviously the recent breakup I had, so. Not crazy, not in the best headspace right now. But hey, that's okay. It's okay to feel down. It's okay to, you know, not feel good all the time, you know? But the most important the more important thing is that you pick yourself back up, right? You know, to keep moving forward, keep trudging along. And with me, I'm I mean I'm doing that, right? Still going to the gym. You know, if anything I'm I'm more dedicated to it now. I have a uh, doing cardio now, playing more guitar. I mean come on, I'm focusing more on my work. But, you know, still feeling down and you're in there, right? And that's all right. That's okay. No big deal. Anyways, so let's push aside that personal stuff, schoolwork, school life, whatever. Let's not care about that right now. Let's focus on what's happening in this minute or we're going to go do it in like a minute. That is the fucking gym, dude. This is the big thing I look forward to. Okay, here's actually working to, with me today, so I'm very happy about that. But anyways, what are we going to freaking do today? All right, well today's again, like I said, triceps and hamstrings. Hamstrings are gonna go a little bit like some hamstring curls and then some standing hamstring curls. Nothing too crazy, nothing too wild. Furthermore, eh, triceps, push downs, and we'll try an inverted push up. It's a weird thing. Ah, uh, maybe not. Probably just, we're probably just gonna do um some freaking sorry. We're going to freaking do Yeah, no point in switching up any of the movements. Maybe I uh, maybe I'll do like a set or two. Maybe two sets of we'll try some inverted push ups at the beginning. It seems some like some uh my kids would tell, do, do those, and swinging by them. Not just swinging by them, but like, you know, I've seen them use them quite, quite often, especially in his workout videos on Instagram. Uh, and then, and then, if I don't like them, or they don't feel good, whatever, we'll just go do our normal, you know, tricep kickbacks. So once again, hamstrings, hamstring curls, freaking standing, standing hamstring curls, triceps, push downs. And some inverted push ups slash tricep kickbacks. I got some nasal run off, man. I felt hella weird. Ugh, gross. Okay. Let's let's get to it, dude. Let's go to the gym. I'll I'll leave in like two minutes. I wanna I'm gonna go pee and stuff. Yikes.
Let's go do it. Hopefully I don't want to pee in your blood. Because peeing, if you pee blood, that ain't good. It means your kidneys ain't working. Same thing if uh, you pee brown. It ain't good. It means your, your kidneys are not working, bruh. Those, those little motherfuckers. Hey, kidneys are sick, though. Sh shout out my boy, Nephron. Look that shit up. It's sick as fuck. All right, peace. All okay. right. So we're back. Yeah, gym was fucking packed, dude. So, obviously, no recording was done. Yeah, it, it was really, really packed, though. But yeah, triceps were fucking amazing. Hamstrings were even better. Um, I switched up a bit of tricep training, I think. I want to say screw kickbacks. We're doing those inverted ones, man. Holy shit, were those killer. Like, that shit was actually fucking insane. I was doing them real slow, right? It's like this, going basic. Yeah, it, it, was just, it was crazy, bro. So anyways, let's get these freaking poses down. Oh, uh, look at that. Look at that tricep, bro. Holy crap. Holy crap. I mean, goddamn, bro. Is there is there anything to freaking say? Uh, it's some shit. Look at that. Like, I, I just felt just this big old thing, man. It felt like... It felt like a... When you have like a, a, this is gonna be a weird fucking analogy. This is what I felt like though, which is obviously how it should feel, because that's how muscles work and joints and shit. Anyways, kneecap especially, we have like a, like a like a block of like a like a block of something here, solid obviously, attached like a string, and you hang it over like an edge or something, and you pull on it. That's how it felt when I was doing my triceps, dude. It was just, it felt so fucking good. Hamstrings too. We didn't do any standing curls. Instead, we did some RDLs, heavy RDLs. Started off with 225, 185, 135, 135. Those sets in order, obviously. Heavy RDLs. And then we went and did some hamstring curls. So I feel really, really good. I am gonna do a, some hamstring posing though, because they're feeling beat the hell up. Yeah. All right. Yeah, here. Hit with some of this. There we go. Sorry, kind of weird ass. But look at that. Look at that hamstring shit, dude. God damn. Just absolutely. Hamstring chain today was absolutely, like, sickening. It was so fucking good. Oh, that 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 little break. Look at that. I mean, you starting to see separation. Obviously, this little line for the hamstrings versus the quads and stuff. Or the yeah, the quads. Yeah. It was, it was disgusting with the training today. It, it was actually disgusting. I wish I could have recorded it. It was, it was such a good fucking workout. Holy shit. I kind of plateaued, I want to say on triceps, uh, pushdowns at least, definitely were a little plateaued. Uh, and deadlifts I feel like could have been a bit better, but, but overall, I have, I have really nothing, other than that, I have really nothing bad to say. Like, I say plateau for triceps in the sense that I didn't do as many, I did the same amount of weight, not as many reps though, as last as the last time we did them. But, at the same time, it was probably when I was on maintenance. I can't, I can't quite remember when I put them, put the stuff in there. I messed up the dates, and I kind of like restarting again. I have like a, an Excel, uh, I got a Google spreadsheet that I track all my weights on and everything. So I can kind of keep track of how, of how I'm progressing. Because I realized, especially in the bulk, I could not fucking remember what weight I was doing every week. Like, especially for lap pull down. Some days I did like 160, some days I did 190. Like, I, I could not remember, you know? But this one's keeping me pretty consistent. Doing basically either, again, the plan is obviously in a perfect world, always increase the rate, reps always increase, right? But we're not in a perfect world. So, since I'm tracking all my, my weights, my, av my about average weight, uh, I have like obviously the first, the first set, no matter what, is gonna be my, my max weight. So I kind of already want to start around there no matter what. Obviously some weeks, some, some training days, I'll say, okay, let's up down to 20 pounds so we can do more reps, right? So I always want to have one increasing. Either one, the weight's increasing. Two, reps increasing. I guess three would be both increasing, right? Which is obviously like perfect world. That's always happening every fucking week, you know? Uh, but uh, yeah, that, that's why I use a kind of like a spreadsheet to just keep track of weight and stuff. I feel like it's a little useful, uh, just for that. 
just keeping again keeping track, keeping maintaining that progressive overload. It's not word. And a little, I guess, moreover, consistency, right? Because I know damn well before I started using a spreadsheet, and moreover, before uh, on a bulk, I was again, like I said, I was switching around rates like left and right, man. I did not know what the fuck I was doing, and now like trains much more just there, right? Like training has been, I've been focused, I know what I'm doing, I'm more motivated than ever, right? More motivated than ever about doing this gym shit. And staying really consistent, I don't think, I think maybe the time I've been here, I've only done maybe like, I think I, a couple days where I, I was forced to take off. I think it was because of studying, I was a little backed up. So I took a couple days off, but and I got back, back into it, man. Like you, you know, like that's the, that's the only thing that matters again. Is just that consistency. Like even if you fuck up, let's say, you know, you're in a cut, you eat fucking a thousand more calories than you're supposed to. Then extreme, right? I I sometimes eat like maybe 100 calories over 50 calories, but who, like who cares? We're not doing this just for like just in in the right now. Obviously, we're doing this for longevity. That's the plan. Okay, overall health and overall health and wellness. Obviously, I'm kind of, I mean, yeah, I'll talk about it in a bit, but, sorry, what, what was my point? My bad. Yeah, just, just again, I, I've said it before in past videos, hop back on that train, man. Even if you take a little stop, you know, you get off on the wrong stop or something, you know, it's okay. Order another fucking ticket, let's, get, let's keep going, man. Hop back on that train, let's ride it. Train to Busan, bro. <laughs> um, Moreover, I wanted to do this talk yesterday, but kind of ran a little bit long. Steroids. We just recently lost um, Mr. Golem, Ilya. Oh, I can't remember his name. He got really good boy. I actually follow. I actually followed him for a little bit. I, I did. Yeah, Ilya Golem. Ilya. Yeah. Miss him. Oh, focus. Oh my god, I hate this fucking phone. Mine that is. This is whatever. You you kinda see it. Ilya Golem. He was uh he was pretty cool. We just lost him though. 33. Yeah, 33. Pretty pretty young. And the steroid talk. He's currently I'm not opposed, okay? As much as I I've I've talked to my family about it too. Talked to some I haven't talked to anybody who's actually been on steroids, I think, in my, in my life. I might talk to some of them. Except you can tell, right? You got, the, you got that trend tan, bro. You, you fucking know, right? But, playing right now, obviously, don't hop on steroids right now, okay? Again, Mike Isotel did a little bit of a podcast on it, one of the podca podcasts talked about it. Angry issues or whatever, right? Thoughts of violence, I've, I've never... I've, I'm really, really low key and chill. Like I'd never fucking, I'm not someone to go out and start fighting motherfuckers. And I don't think I really, right now at least, especially currently, if I don't have a girlfriend, I wouldn't have like anyone to lash out at if I will on steroids. But so sorry, sorry, so this is hypotheticals, obviously. I don't say that I would ever abuse my uh, partner. Just get, I'm getting that out there right now. No, it's not what I'm saying. Nor does it justify. Okay, you, you get the point though. Um, the main thing that really drives me away from steroids, especially my grace still talking about it, that loss of intelligence. There's no way I could deal with that right now. <laughs> if I hopped on some shit, I mean, what, what do I, again, what do I want to be? What's my goal? What's my career goal, like career-wise? I want to be a neurosurgeon. I feel like I'd be pretty smart to do that. And I feel like if I ever hopped on steroids, that would be a... Uh, right? Even right now, even though I'm on the cut, I'm starting to feel these side effects of uh, some of the brain fog, okay? Definitely a lot of the tiredness that comes with being on a cut, since my body doesn't have like the same amount of resources to rebuild the uh, tears that I'm creating that I'm making my muscles. Yeah, my muscle fuck, whatever. I don't have the, the same amount of resources that I did in the bulk. So in the bulk, man, I could go fucking 12. I, you, you saw me, man, I was doing 12 sets of fucking muscle then. Biceps, goddamn legs on the same day, and I'm shooting the quads on the same day. You know, you, like, you get that shit, right? 
spent two hours in the fucking gym. Just was stupid. I'm not gonna lie. I could train way better, especially now. Like I'm, I'm maximizing my time and uh, minimizing my time, and maximizing like the growth, see, the pump and all that shit. Um. So I'm not again. This is reiterate. Re I'm not opposed to taking steroids, but at my young age, one, right? My hormones. I, I I'm sure I've never done like a, a testosterone test or anything, but I'm sure my shit's pretty average or a little but average hopefully not below average but i'm pretty sure with what i've built right now i'm pretty average All right 18 year old wise you know and if i hop on steroids it would fuck up that hormonal cycle for the rest of my life and i need to take shit for the rest of my life and i don't want to do that all right i just nobody like why the fuck would i want what do i want those side effects at all especially right now at my current young age i have no reason to be taking steroids okay Moreover, again, intelligence. I don't want to decrease into intelligence. The rest of the side effects, I don't really give a fuck about. Okay. Back acne, uncomfortable. Yeah, if I get it really, really bad if I'm taking steroids. But if it gets really, really bad, I'm obviously hop off. Like, I've seen some nasty shit. But, I mean, a little bit of acne here and there, who gives a shit, right? Um, but yeah. Uh, this is also assuming that I have blood work done every couple months. Right, just to stay, maintain that health. All right, make sure that my heart's working all right. You know, my I don't know what they do. Echo programs? Nope. EKGs? It's fine. Right? I think they do those. My bad. I don't know enough about cardiology <laughs> just yet. But you're right. Keeping my heart good, my liver. You know, making sure my organs aren't fucking, you know, dying per se. I like having my kidneys. And yeah, nephron's the goat. So, but all those side effects, again, just, I just, that's why, yeah, sorry, I'm kind of giving you as a steroid talk that I've done before. Like, I'm not opposed, again, I'm not opposed to taking them, but it'll definitely be later, in my, later on in my life. I want to say, if all goes well, right, four years of medical school, four years of, um, Of undergrad, so what the hell am I thinking? Undergrad, four years of medical school, and then go on and right. Also, alongside with that, how am I going to take steroids as like a clinician? Like, what is that? Do, will that lead to a decrease in my patient care, in my patient's well-being? Because what if I end up making a mistake that I would have never made if I wasn't on steroids, okay? Now I'm trying to think that I won't be able to take them at all because my obligation as a physician and as a healthcare worker would absolutely come first than my personal wants. Hmm, something to think about. Okay, well, I think that's it. I think I've talked about what I want to do this coming bulk. I keep talking about this bulk, man. I, I'm getting tired of this cut. I like, I know, like, I know this is worth it, and it'll be even worth. I mean, look at that. We're getting the cum cutters. Rick and Morty. But uh, one second. Sorry, sorry. I'm ready for this bulk, dude. Uh, I I want to hop. But sorry, the time for the bulk currently is since I had so much fun doing the lifting competition or in my college. I really want to put that forward and go for a lot of more strength. So most likely what we'll end up start doing, we'll do is more powerlifting come this next bulk. Um I'm definitely gonna research more in powerlifting, you know, how to train for it. I'm not too familiar, like I know more about the bodybuilding training, focus training, uh, then powerlifting. Obviously, any, any, any training to bodybuilding because you're trying to build a body for, you know, your sport, train for your sport. You, you, you know what I'm trying to say, but specifically, the sport of bodybuilding, okay? I'm more I, I know more about training like that than I do powerlifting. They're in the same, like, obviously, you deal with weights, both of them, but powerlifting, the only thing I know is, like, five by five. Uh, that's, that's all I know. But I don't know, like, say, 
like, oh, you know, my, my, my max for deadlift is what, 500 pounds and, you know, I train 70% of that regularly over reps. Is that, that what I do, you know? But I'll start watching some shit. I'll start asking some questions around some of the powerlifters in my, that are kind of in my circle here. Um, and I'll start getting a plan formulated and I'll probably talk to like a, again, set up a new workout plan, new workout spreadsheet and talk about it for a little bit while I'm doing certain things. You know, goal the bulk, obviously. I mean, goal the bulk is going to be to, it's going to be much shorter than last time. I don't want to bulk for that long because the cut ends up being fucking three times as long. You've seen it, man. God damn. I want to bulk to around 200. That, that would be the plan. All right, that's okay. Obviously, it's like, oh, you know, you pull to like 180 or something. Fuck that, bro. 200 pounds. I like being at 200. Okay, I feel fucking good. I feel strong. I feel like I look pretty good. You know, at the beach, sitting there, I'm fucking chilling. You know, drinking my uh, mocktail. <laughs> I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> I don't like beer. Ugh. Drinking my mocktail and shit. I'm all. This is fucking sick, right? I hope y'all like one of these. You know, start curling my fucking. Uh, Belly limp, hit one of those. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be in a 200. My knees, 216 is a little, a little worse. Definitely, that was not fun being that heavy. Honestly, that probably pushed me more towards the cut, too. Because being 216 was a fucking bitch. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit, my frame does not like being over, over 200 pounds. <sighs> like, my knees. I was, I'd, I'd be walking around and my knees would be fucking hurting, dude. I'd be walking upstairs and I'd get a quad pump. Like, God damn, bro. I'm, 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 okay, no, it's not really that true. It's whatever, but... Like, you know what I mean, though? Like, I'm still carrying around a shit ton of weight. Plus, I'd be just sweaty, man. I'd just be sweaty. It, like, I'd be chilling in my room. It'd be kind of cold. And also, I'd just start sweating and shit. It's like, what the fuck is... Like, what is this, man? Yeah, 216 was not fun to be at. Granted, was I strong? Woo! Damn right. I mean, 225 for three on incline. As a natural. Granted, 216 obviously has, I'm not going to say uh, that doesn't have to do, absolutely has to do with, uh, you know, mass moves mass, but who gives a shit? Okay, you're still moving fucking 225. All right, that's still damn well impressive. Like, someone who's, who's what? 200 pounds moving, moving two, I mean, moving 200 pounds, moving two plates for reps. Who gives a fuck, bro? Who's gonna give a shit, right? Like, yeah, sure, you're 200, but still, that's 225, bro. That's still weight. You know what I mean? It's still, it's still mass. It's still mass on the fucking bar. It's still weight on the bar, and you're, you're still moving it. Shit. For reps, too. So, I don't know. There, there was trade-offs that I definitely, I definitely didn't like. Definitely some cons I didn't like when I was a little bit heavier. I started to look right. End of the bulk. But yeah, once, once I crossed below 200, I, I, I was happy. Once I got 200, I, I was nice. I was, I was moving around more. All right. Well, that's 18 minutes of nothing but fucking talking. That's crazy. I had this much to say. Um, you know, stay happy. You know, stay motivated. Get your, get your homework done. I'm trying to put off my, do my homework. I have an exam tomorrow. I gotta study. Damn, bro. Fuck. Yeah, do your homework, you know, don't do your studying. Don't piss around like I do. Hey, I'm gonna lock in this next exam though. I'm gonna start writing down my, I'm, I'm, I got plans, bro, I got plans. Yeah, after the, after I get a chill day, you know, Friday's gonna be pretty chill. So after, after I get through tomorrow, my next couple weeks, fucking easy as shit, bro. Easy going, all right? You know, and then after the Saturday too, we're gonna be chilled the fuck out. We're gonna be, mindset's gonna be locked the hell in. Speaking of which, oh yeah, Saturday's my rest day too. Uh, technically, no, it's not. Um, I'll talk about it more tomorrow probably, about what I'm starting to plan to do. Kind of, yeah. Anyways, what am I saying here? Sorry. Yeah, after Saturday, I should be pretty chill out. I recommend a, do Saturday, y'all should come chill with me, bro. I was thinking of doing the live stream, but I might not have time Saturday. I gotta run around and do a lot of stuff. But hey, Saturday is sushi day. I'm gonna save all my calories. You know, from the morning, not gonna eat anything. I'm gonna pedal out. 
Yeah, I'm gonna get my fucking. I feel like sushi, bro. They got like a buffet, like you. I've told you guys. You guys, they like order a couple. You get kind of like some orders, right? You get like three, two times to order, however much you want each order, right? So make sure you don't waste any food. It's kind of cool. I'm gonna be eating nothing but fucking sashimi, bro. I'm gonna get those worms. Ooh, I gotta probably. I don't know if some blood work, man. I gotta check if I, if I got worms in my shit. Cause I've eaten some gas station sushi, some Israeli sushi. I don't know about that one, man. Israeli sushi especially. That shit was, was a little. And it smelled fishy, but it didn't smell good. So, I don't know. It's still, it tasted good. I still ate it. I don't eat anything, bro. Tetanus endospores. Acrobology joke. I mean, hey. Hey, if you if you if you uh stay this long, write uh talk to uh in the comments below, all right? To know to to let me make sure that you know people are at least watching or at least skipping to the end or something. Or something cool, all right? Remember that that's T A L K space T U A H. Talk to all right? Maybe we'll do a watch party. <laughs> okay, that's it. You know, stay motivated, stay happy, stay on that grind. Winter arc! Alright, I'll see you guys. Whatever. Bye.